Kia ora everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and guess what? It's time for another battle of the YouTube puzzlers. I'll be representing New Zealand, going up against Jeanette and her puzzles from Slovenia, Jigsaw Juby from Australia, and Vicky Makes It and Builds from the UK. Unfortunately, addicted to puzzles, Judy can't join us this time. She's just really, really busy, but she hopes to get a copy of the puzzle and just do it for fun on her own. Now, lots of details to tell you this time because we're doing it in the style of worlds. Jeanette and I will be going to Spain this year to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships. I do believe there's still tickets available, so if you're thinking of going, sign up. We hope to see many of you there. Can't wait to meet you all. But we're doing things a little bit differently because of that. The first big thing is, well, this is the puzzle. We don't know what the puzzle is. It's a mystery to all of us. I reached out to Michelle from Speed Puzzle Europe and I asked her to pick the puzzle for us. She sent us these puzzles free of charge, so she's sponsoring the battle. Thank you so, so very much. But we don't know what the puzzle is. It's wrapped and we won't know what it is until we're ready to go. The only criteria was Ravensburger, 500 pieces, and try to get one that's readily available worldwide as much as possible so that way you can get your hands on the puzzle as well she did admit she found one she feels is readily available worldwide but because of that it's a maybe a more difficult or tricky puzzle and that we may have to resort to p-shaped sorting at the end oh please don't let it be a nature edition please don't let it be a nature edition so i have no idea Definitely compared to our last puzzle, Clementoni the Blue Car, this one is more difficult. So, huh, it'll be fun, but it's going to be a bit more of a challenge. Keeping with the theme of following like world rules, we're imposing a 90 minute timer. Now, before I go any further, you can always get the puzzle and just do it for fun and still fill in the Google form without timing yourself. I'll talk about that more in a second. But for those of you that want to speed run the puzzle, you have to use 90 minutes, no more. If you're not done the jigsaw puzzle in 90 minutes, you count your pieces that are unassembled and just subtract that from 500. And that will be what you will enter in the Google form. Three or more connected pieces count as being assembled, just like the world rules. So 90 minutes may have to resort to piece shape sorting. I don't know if I can complete this in under 90 minutes, so I will just do the best I can. Now, because we don't know what the puzzle is, and you won't know what the puzzle is until we release our videos. So, the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers will premiere June 29th slash 30th, depending on what time zone you are. I'll put up the times here on screen. Jeanette's video will be first, then mine, followed by Juby and Vicky. So the first video will be Jeanette's and she will be the one doing the grand reveal of what the puzzle is. And um, then after that point, you'll be able to go buy the puzzle. Share it with your friends and family, resell it, trade it. You may actually already have a copy of it. I wonder if I could already have a copy of it. I have no idea. So Michelle from Speed Puzzles Europe has said she will try to get as many copies as she can in stock. So you'll be able to purchase from there as well. I'll leave my affiliate link down below. Um, full disclosure, if you buy from there, I get a commission that comes back to me in the channel, but also buy from your local shops or your favorite online retailer. And I do hope it's readily available as much as possible everywhere. Um, I know my copy I'll lend to Allison and a whole bunch of other people to do as well. But yeah, we don't know what the puzzle is. And please don't try to contact Michelle and ask her to get an early copy of the puzzle. You'll have plenty of time to do it because we're gonna leave the Google form open until August 30th, 31st. So you have two full months to complete the puzzle because of the fact that we won't know what it is until June 29th slash 30th. But yeah, there you go. This is the next uh, battle puzzle. No idea what it is. On top of sending me the battle puzzle, Michelle, so lovely, she actually sent me a pieces in piece puzzle. Now, sorry, I still have the plastic wrap on it. I also got one recently from Puzzles and Zed, which I haven't done. So I do plan on doing a pieces in piece jigsaw puzzle video very soon. This one is called, is it called Amsterdam? I believe sometimes it, yeah, it's called Am Nine Streets Amsterdam and it's by Simply Katie. 
this is lovely. I can't wait to do that. So thank you for that, Michelle. She also sent me one of these 99 piece puzzle moments from Ravensburger. This one's called Cuba, as well as a Peacely jigsaw puzzle. Never done this brand before. Lovely. This one's just small 99 pieces, but had a great time putting it together. See, it holds together nicely. It's called Home Spa by Alyssa Levi. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Very nice. I do believe she used a Peacely in one of her Euro Jigsaw Jams. So Speed Puzzle Europe and Michelle, they put on the Euro Jigsaw Jam. You should check them out. Well, what do you think? None of us know what the puzzle is. 90 minute timer. If not done in time, count your pieces. Trickier Jigsaw Puzzle. May need to resort to piece shape sorting. Goodness, oh, I'm nervous. I just, I'm just gonna have fun and do the best I can. I just hope it's not a nature edition. Fingers crossed, toes crossed. Allison was over the other day and I showed her the puzzle and she went, sounds like a nature edition. <laughs> silly, so silly. As for my trip to Worlds, I just wanna thank again, Peace Relax of Pintu Company for sponsoring me. They've been so amazing and so great and I really, really appreciate it. So there you go, everyone. This is the battle puzzle. Robin's Burger 500 pieces, bit tricky, may have to piece shape sort. 90 minute timer, if not done, count your pieces. But if you don't wanna time yourself, just do it for fun. You can still fill out the Google form, which will be open until August 31st for you to fill out. Hopefully plenty of time for everyone to get their hands on the puzzle, share the puzzle, trade the puzzle. Oh goodness. I, I'm a bit nervous. It's a bit different not knowing what the puzzle is, but this is to prepare us for worlds, world situation here. Um, I did actually do one puzzle in preparation. So why don't we watch that time lapse and see how I went? This is one of Allison's jigsaw puzzles. I've never done it before. Ravensburger 500 pieces called Perfect Piece, P-U-R-R, because <laughs> there's a little kitty cat in the corner. It's by the artist Amy Stewart. The reason why I practiced this is that I knew I could do a lot of my pick and place, but that I would also have to sort out the cat fur. So it's more a build as you sort, because I did end up sorting out some pieces around the edges until I had more and I could fit them together. And I figured that cat fur, I would have to resort to piece shape sorting. And so perhaps not as difficult as the battle puzzle, I don't know yet, but I thought at least I will get some practice of realizing when I need to sort by piece shape. I love this puzzle, it was so much fun. There was some writing, some flowers, I'm not the best with flowers, of course the cat and the cat fur, but very colorful, very lovely, some distinct areas. And I decided not to do a full flip. I was debating, I was seriously debating, do I take the time to full flip or just grab pieces out of the box? I don't know which would have been faster because then I thought, well, if I would have full flipped, I could have grabbed like all those blue pieces, all the pieces from the succulent. I would have just left the cat pieces till the end. I could have grabbed all the book pieces. So I still don't know sometimes if doing a full flip would have been faster or not. I was really curious to know when I got down to it, how long it would take me just to do the cat. So at around the 54 minute mark, I had 81 pieces left of just cat fur. I wanted to figure out then how long it would take me just to do those 81 pieces. So up until that point, I was averaging about 7.7 .7 seconds per piece. And I thought I was doing quite well. I was trying not to sort by piece shape. And I thought I was finding quite a few pieces, but in the end, I did have to sort by piece shape. And that's fine because then it went faster for me. And even though there's design and detail in the cat fur, I just, ah, uh, I cannot do fur very well. So 
it took me on average 9.6 seconds to do those last 81 pieces. My final time, an hour, six minutes, 50 seconds. I'm very, very pleased with that. But I know if I wanna be around the hour mark, I need to be closer to what, like 7.2 seconds per piece? Ooh, I'll get there one day. So there you go. You have all the details, June 29th, 30th. I hope you can watch the premieres live with us. We'll all be there chatting, having a great time, and we'll find out together what the puzzle is. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao. Jeanette made us these cool little name tags for all our tables. And look, I'm going second. So there you go, New Zealand. She actually didn't even put my name on it. She just put for the love of puzzles. Am I just known as for the love of puzzles? Jeanette, do you not know my first name?